What's up everyone? My name is Zach Waters and welcome to a new video. Now, I have just spent the last 20 minutes filming this video, but my head was in a fucking roller coaster in a wash... What the fuck did the camera do? In a goddamn washing machine. You know, I was jumping from one thing to another and none of it made any sense. If you guys have stuck by the channel for quite a while now, you would know that every once in a while, I like to give you guys advice, um, tips and just help and examples of my life and try and help you guys with certain things, certain things you might experience throughout your life. Um, just kind of like life advice, life tips or whatever. Um, so you guys don't end up as hurt as I once was. Now, I do apologize that if it happens again for the second time, that this video may be scrambled over, all over the place. I don't have any notes. Um, I kind of just wanted to sit down and get this started. So in this video, I want to talk about regrets. And I will talk about one specific thing and try and get you guys some kind of lesson. And then I'll talk about a few other regrets here and there. To start things off, I just want to say regrets are kind of a need in the human life. I mean, you can't go your life without any regrets, you know? I just feel like it's healthy to have some regrets. Not massive ones, because some of them can ruin your life and your whole persona, your whole mindset, your whole attitude towards everything. Now, I'm gonna start off with the huge one that's been on my mind and the reason I wanted to make this video. And I'm pretty sure a couple people can relate to this. I'm not sure how, how close, but there might be some similarities there. And just a PS to my fiance, I love you very much, but in this video I will be talking about other girls and my relationship with them. So don't eat me up please, um, don't fucking bomb the house. I love you very much, I don't think about these other girls at all. So I'm just trying to make this video for these guys, okay? And if I have to bring up some of the past, I'll bring up some of the past. And my first regret is not maintaining a certain friendship with a certain someone. Now I'll kind of briefly just go over the situation at hand and then talk about why I regret such a thing. So there was this girl about three, four years ago-ish. Um, we hung out for about two, three months before I asked if she wanted to be my girlfriend. She said yes. Um, we went to a couple of parties here and there. It was kind of just a really, really good friendship. I'll get into that in a sec. You know, we went shopping all the time, we went to a couple parties, and then it was New Year's, we went out clubbing, and that's when we decided to make things pretty, pretty serious, I guess. So that was about the 1st of January 2015, I think, and it kind of just went all downhill from there. Essentially, she broke up with me a week or five days-ish before Valentine's Day, and that was a fucking kick in the face. I remember standing outside the house, she drove up, up my street and said we need to have a talk and I was like righto. I could sense that something was wrong and I told mum, because mum was there, and I said <laughs> Oh, I gotta beep that out. Did not just say her name. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did not. I didn't. Let's do that again. I said, I was like, hey mum, she's here. I'm gonna go out there and talk to her. I think she's gonna break up with me. And then mum and reassured me that whatever happens, she's here for me, blah, blah, blah. So I went out there, things happened, and essentially she ended things and basically just said that I it didn't feel like a relationship um, per se. And that really just, that really plays in my head from time to time and it just kills me. Not because of the relationship, not because she was my kind of girlfriend and like, oh man, I regret not doing things like this. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying I regret being with her. I don't regret being with her at all. It was good while it lasted. It's in the past. I don't think of her in that way whatsoever anymore. My regret, my massive regret for this is not maintaining a friendship. And that's, that really kills me sometimes. Um, unfriending her on Facebook, unfollowing her from all the social media and shit and get deleting her number and the texts, which is healthy to do um, after a breakup to get some space and think about things. But it was just the bond that we created. Um, we had some super good times then. The times I don't rate because they were fun. Um, it was with a person that I enjoyed being around at the time and I was naive towards a couple things, especially when 
she said, "We can still be friends." What do you mean? I was basically blindsided by this girl, and you know, she said, "We can still be friends," and I was like, "Thank fuck!" And you know, she said the whole thing, "We can still hang out, we can still do all this shit," but little did I know. <laughs> that's not how the world works and I wish that we kind of did stay friends you know I'm not saying friends as like we hang out go to the park go to fucking the movies um hang out come over to my house whatever friends you know simple friends send me a text once in a while saying hey hey going just to kind of catch up kind of thing you know because there was such a good bond that it fucking just got thrown into the Mordor and was never seen again I mean, shortly after, I was super upset. Mum calmed me down a bit. I guess I was just whole, once again, blindsided by thinking that no matter what happened in regards to our relationship or whatever, that we can still be friends. Simple, you know. Uh, I don't think this makes any actual sense. Plus, she got me into The Walking Dead, so there's a plus. No regrets there. All right, since that's taken, once again, nearly 18 minutes to fucking get out of my head, other regrets for me, music. Music as in playing in a band. I was in a band around, I think it was once again, about two years ago. So there was one concert we were meant to do. We actually just booked our first tour. We were gonna go Brisbane, Sydney, Canberra. There's probably more to it, but that's all I remember. The big, the big cities, like a full on tour. The show, before that, even a couple shows before that, I called up the singer and I was like, my back was sore, I think. So I had to cancel it and then things just didn't go well. They just went downhill from there. You know, we stopped practicing. We stopped getting shows. Had to cancel the tour. And being a huge music fan and watching a bunch of live concerts and stuff, I regret not continuing that. Regardless of the style of music, I regret not continuing it. I, you know, I'd rather play heavy stuff, but Times could have been changing, we could have changed style, we could have, I could have been offered drumming in another band. Who knows what could have happened. Something still in me itches to get on a fucking drum kit and smash the fuck out of them. Playing in front of people. I mean, this is about a year ago now. Maybe, even, yeah, once again, probably two years. And we were still tiny. Who knows what the fuck we could have been doing by now. We could have been fucking traveling the country, playing much bigger shows. Playing with bigger bands, not just playing in a fucking bar or a fucking cafe or some shit. We could have been playing proper fucking shows and that fucking kicks me in the dick. So if you're in a band or have any kind of aspiration, you know, just keep at it. Don't chicken out like I did. Don't take the easy way out. You're just going to live like a fucking, you're just going to live like a fucking octopus, you know? You know, it's going to fucking eat you up. YouTube is a perfect example. If you see your subscribers go down, your views go down, if you're not in the mood to make videos, try and do something that takes your time, even if it's a sketch, try something different, try different content and see how that feels. You probably just need a refresher. Take a little break, but don't quit. Take a little break. That's what I've done in the past, you guys know that. Um, I've taken quite a few breaks because games do head in. I get angry, I get scared, and at times I just don't feel like playing games and I'm not a good vlogger or I'm not a good fucking youtuber to you guys <laughs> you know just have a break and then get back into it have some time out think about things get some ideas and then come back to it refreshed and ready to fucking pound pussy i guess those are the three examples i guess i have for this i am completely sorry that i went way fucking overboard um my mind is literally potato mash right now i have no idea what i'm trying to say but yeah, guys, I hope this video was something. Um, hope it wasn't absolutely fucking boring. I hope it kind of gave you guys some kind of an idea of what to do if something happens. Now I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, if you guys have any kind of certain things that you need help or advice on, type them in the comments or if you don't feel uh, like opening it up, um, send me a message, a private message on Twitter or YouTube. And I'll make a video talking about it. I won't use your name or anything if you don't want it um, said. Um, apart from that, thank you guys for sticking around. I apologize once again. This was a fucking weird ass long video. So thank you very much for listening. Hope you didn't do your head in. I'll see everyone in the next video. All right. Catch you later.